Right now at 5, the fight for Florida. The primary is just hours away. We have what you can expect at the polls tomorrow and where the candidates are right now. Search for clues while investigators headed back to a crime scene weeks after a toddler is murdered. Easing pain at the pump, but how long will the drop in gas prices last? Consumer investigator Al Sunshine has what you can expect. Caffeine connection, the new reason diabetics may want to lay off the coffee for a while. And breaking news, the search for a missing Alzheimer's patient and her two-year-old granddaughter has just ended. Thank you for joining us. I'm Shannon Horry. And I'm Antonio Mora. CBS 4 News at 5 starts right now. From Miami Day, Broward in the Keys, this is South Florida's CBS 4 News. We begin with breaking news right now at five. Just minutes ago, a nearly five hour search for a missing Alzheimer's patient and her grandchild came to an end. The two slipped out of the elderly woman's nursing home around lunchtime. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live in Fort Lauderdale. Carrie, do we know where they were found? Shannon, they were found at a bus terminal, the main bus terminal in Fort Lauderdale. I can tell you it was a crazy 20 minutes here. You're watching CBS 4 News at five with Shannon Horry, Antonio Mora, Chief Meteorologist David Bernard, Hurricane Expert Brian Norcross, and Jim Berry with sports. Wall Street started the week on a positive note despite another negative report from the real estate sector. The Dow Jones finished the day up nearly 177 points. So enjoy the latest bargains while you can. Now for the cheapest gas in your neighborhood, just check out our Eye on the Pump section on CBS4.com. The address right there on your screen. I'm Al Sunshine, CBS4 News. So it's almost like they feel bad for us because the market's <laughs> not doing well, so then they're lowering <laughs> gas prices. Well, it, it, it's a matter of basic optimism and the people that think that they're going to be able to buy gas at higher prices on the wholesale to uh -huh. try to, you know, get a little extra added bonus. They're not as optimistic, so those future mm. prices are down, gotcha. and it's trickling down to the rest of us. Don't yeah. ask too we many like questions. It. We don't, we like it. We enjoy it. Absolutely. We're enjoying it. Thanks, Al. <laughs> well, the news at 5 is not done yet, but we're off to go to work on the 6. Here are Elliot Rodriguez and Erica Von Thiel with a look at what's still ahead at 5. Thanks, Antonio, and welcome aboard. Tomorrow is Florida's time to shine in the political spotlight. Coming up, what you need to know before you head out to the polls. A memorial grows for the man who turned his life around and dedicated it to others. I'm Tiffany Helberg. I'll have a live report from Pompano Beach. Also, caffeine and diabetes. New study results prompt a warning about the stimulant. We have potentially life-saving information for anyone who knows someone with the disease and for all diabetics. You don't want to miss it. That's later at 5. We'll be right back. Accurate. Dependable. CBS 4 weather. You can count on it. From Miami Day, Broward in the Keys, this is South Florida's CBS 4 News. A family gets ready to bury a loved one, a man who'd spent his life working to save the lives of others battling addiction. Richard Entricken was shot during a robbery over the weekend outside a halfway house that he founded. Uh, the former Vietnam veteran had just marked 16 years of sobriety when he lost his life. CBS 4's Tiffany Helberg spoke to his family, including his two daughters. Tiffany? Elliot, I want to show you, this is a memorial that continues to grow. It just shows just a fraction of the lives that Richard Entricken touched. You're watching CBS 4 News at 5.30 with Elliot Rodriguez, Erica Von Teel, Chief Meteorologist David Bernard, Hurricane Expert Brian Norcross, and Jim Barry with Sports. Some Australian fishermen take some drastic measures to save a friend who'd been bitten by a shark. Well, still ahead at 5, caffeine and diabetes. Find out how cutting down could help people with the most common type of the disease. That's next. Right now, here's Antonio Mora with a look at what's coming up at 6. Antonio? Thanks, Elliot. We have everything you need to know about tomorrow's primary election. Michael Williams takes a closer look at the Republican race. Right now, it's neck and neck between the top candidates. We're live at a campaign rally. And get out your quarters. Vegas-style slot machines are here. We're live at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino with reaction from the gamblers. We'll have those stories and much more when you join Shannon and me at 6. But if you don't have diabetes, you might want to think about having a cup or two a day because that could have some health perks. Dr. Sean Kinnev, CBS 4 News. Thank you, doctor. That's going to do it for CBS 4 News at 5. CBS 4 News at 6 with Shannon Horry and Antonio Mora starts right now. From Miami Day, Broward in the Keys, this is South Florida's CBS 4 News. 
Good evening. The eyes of the nation turn to South Florida. The polls open in just over 12 hours, but already the hoopla is well underway. The Republican candidates are crisscrossing the state, speaking at rallies and town hall meetings. It's the last day they're allowed to campaign before tomorrow's vote. And it's not just the candidates. Hundreds of journalists and campaign workers have crammed into the state to take part in this very important vote. As things stand right now, the election, at least for the Republicans, is too close to call. The newest Quinnipiac poll shows 30 32 percent for John McCain, 31 percent for Mitt Romney. Rudy Giuliani and Mike Huckabee are far behind. It's a different story, though, in the Democratic race. The candidates are banned from campaigning here. But the poll shows Hillary Clinton in the lead with 50 percent to Barack Obama's 30 percent. John Edwards is far behind with 12 percent. The leading Republican candidates are all over the state hoping to get some last-minute support. Right now, Ju Rudy Giuliani is speaking to a crowd at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. CBS 4's Michael Williams is there live with more. Michael. Good evening, Antonio. Rudy Giuliani, as the signs behind me make clear, had bet that Florida would be Rudy country. Coming up, legal trouble for the Miami mega plan. A multi-billion dollar boon or boondoggle, that is part of the escalating debate now. We'll hear some of that debate coming up straight ahead on CBS 4 News at 6. Then, a big check for the people who rush to fires. Find out how all that money is going to help you. And we know some very fancy hotels are here in South Florida, so why were they left off the top of the hotel ranking list? You're watching CBS 4 News at 6, covering Miami Gardens, Homestead, Pembroke Pines, and your South Florida neighborhood. Bright sun, nice and dry tomorrow in 76, and it looks like mostly smooth on the bays tomorrow to a light chop at times with east and southeast winds at 10, and seas will see 1 to 2 feet. And here's your outlook then going for the rest of the week. 76 for tomorrow, 80 with warmer sun on Wednesday, and a beach breeze Thursday at 80, and Friday 81 degrees. We'll go on into the weekend. We'll see sun and clouds on Saturday, and on Sunday, again with a high temperature around 80, and little if any rain is expected for the rest of the week, and that is what late January and February should look like here in South Florida. <laughs> Good for Election Day. Yeah. We like it. Thanks, Thanks David. So. Now Jim's here with what's ahead in sport and some basketball, Jim. That's right, Antonio. You can be my doubles partner now in tennis. All right. Let's talk heat. They hope to heat back up. D. Wade hopes one win is going to lead to one winning streak. And Dan Marino and I sample his new wine. Ah, the perks of this job. You get better every day. Please join us tonight at 11 for a reaction to the State of the Union Address. Remember, we are always on CBS4.com, and right now you can get all the information you need to vote in tomorrow's primary. Now here's the CBS Evening News with Katie Kerr. Tonight, passing the torch. It's time again for a new generation of leadership. Barack Obama is tapped as a candidate to continue the Kennedy legacy. And John McCain and Mitt Romney are locked in a heated battle under the Florida sun for the biggest delegate prize yet. I'm Katie Kirk in Washington. Also tonight, the president's final State of the Union address. He urges Congress to act quickly to